Polka Disco Club. I've been sleeping, man. Three wide into turn one. <laughs> Check the right, right side, right, 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 up on top. Yes! Back right, you saw her! Back right. Oh, oh, four, 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 four. Oh, hold it! Let's no. go! It's insane! No Let's go! Way. No, 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 no! Shot on target. Sarves there for the save. Bangs it downfield. It's going to get cut off. Going for the catch. Gets bumped here, but doesn't get knocked off course. Picks this one up. Great dribble. What a flick. Just under crossbar. Sarve. Great shot. That means on the outlap. All right. Everything should be on. Good evening. Uh, I'm going to flip the uh, Discord back on. I just want to say hi before I did that. So you're not blasted with that. But uh, we're going to listen to the rest of the driver's briefing, and then we're going to get out and do our qualifying. So let's go. Require you to pull off to the side and yield that position immediately to the car behind to not impede their hot lap. I think I've got it. If you catch up on a driver that is on a valid lap, you are not allowed to go from overtake, as it will yeah, it puts me a little more centered. and that driver down. Which will and then mean when I'm actually that you sitting, will both set slower laps. Like, and so we ask that the driver behind chair, back out closer. and build a gap. On your outlap, expect to build a three to five second gap. Our qualifying pace should be very similar with our divisions and then classification splits. So again, two classifications, hey, 20 minute quality. I'm streaming now. During the race is a 60 minute race with a 40 minute pit window tonight where you must take one liter of fuel. Now this 40 minute pit window is only for tonight. It's experimental, so um, please note that is a change, but you still need to take one liter of fuel. Yeah, yeah, so instead of a 10-minute window, we got a 40-minute. And that you are prepared to Should be fine. to I drivers around you and around. understand you will not be driving the same lines and the same lap that you do when you're hot lapping. You will need Most to break time. earlier and break at different points on the track. You will need to take different lines and different exits. Let's um, see, is there any chat going on? Coming into corner Twitch one, you need to be prepared be live, that yeah. the cars in front of you are going to have to break early. 
and you need to be prepared to leave space on the on on the entry right. apex and exit of every corner. Mm -hmm. We punish lap one incidents very harshly. We think it's one of the worst parts of racing. I mean, it, nothing is worse than getting your uh, race ruined before it really even gets going. And so be very cautious. Yeah, group right? chat. It is okay to back out on lap one. We have a 60 minute race. This is a very long race. This is a very long season. You will not. It will be a long all. season with the. Um, you can crash out and cost yourself major. Break for Thanksgiving one. and then break for Christmas. And you also want to respect the drivers around. Um, you know that they New will Year's. Also give you respect. Hey, I got my car. Leave consistency back up. Accidents, however, will or still car happen. Car control 78. So I wonder why it's 78 still. Like it should we went up ask last that when night. you are off. When consistency you go off went track, up again. Hold your brakes. These three should um, stay at 99. And only rejoin safely. I don't know what you know PC that the is. Gonna I don't know what You're going to want to save as little time as possible. But we ask that you respect the drivers that are behind you on track. And take the extra second to make sure it's a safe spot to rejoin. If you pull out in front of drivers that are on a, that are coming up behind you, you will be punished harshly for re, uh, rejoining unsafely. Especially if you the hit somebody. The best way to rejoin is to get parallel to the track and then ease your way back on. Drivers As it's safe. Are off track, be prepared for them to rejoin. You also need to be able to take um, evasive yeah, but if you're you cannot keep them squeezed in the grass. If you see that they are parallel to the track and looking to join, you need to move if, over. If you're too wide, then the person them. off the track is just going to have to, you know, blue deal flags. with it. In SRA, we uh, require that if you are shown a blue flag, that you must yield within one complete lap. And so if you are being shown a constant blue flag, you have one lap to move out of the way for the driver behind. That is because you're not racing on the same lap, so you guys are not fighting for position at that point in time. The best place to do this is on a straight, and the best way to do it is to lift off the gas and just be predictable. Let the faster car drive around you. We do Glad not they're saying that. Try to pull off in a corner. Or predictable, like that. If you, and you let the faster drive get around you. More likely to cause an accident. Don't swerve and get off the line. When Don't accidents happen, let off into a braking zone because they're not going to expect the it. Like... You can submit a ticket. That is in our stewarding section. To submit a ticket, you need to have the lap. The lap number, the corner number, and the drivers involved. That means you need to save your replay so you can go back and find where it happened, who it involved, um, so our stewards can easily find the incident. They take a lot of time out of their lives to do this. It, it is required that you go back and review the incident beforehand. After the race, we hold a post-race review. And so what that means is and for the server one will be in race review one, and we will go over the, the previous race and show all the highlights and, and incidents that happened. We'll talk about what to do better, how to, how to get better, and it's a great learning um, experience, and it's also fun to see what happened throughout the race. It's a great environment, and it is always centered around learning and getting better. We do not allow personal attacks. We do not allow call-outs. We do not allow any toxicity like that. None of us are perfect. We ask that you give everybody respect. Again, I've said that multiple times, but it's really big here. And so this is a place where you can come and learn and become a better racer. All right. Let's see here. I believe I have covered all of the major changes for tonight's event. Remember, this, is, this event is tonight is for D1, D4, and D5. D1 will be in server one. D4 will be in server 2, and D5 will be in server 3, and that is what it will be for the entire season. So, you can find the servers by searching SRAM. They are not up yet. They are not up yet. We want to uh, leave time for people to ask questions. All right. Are there any questions? You can ask a question by hitting the raise hand icon, the request to speak, and we will pull you up stage so you can ask. I have not given the server password, and the servers are not up. How's it going back there, R2? That is so loud. I was tabbed out too, Hawk, so I didn't even see the notification pop up. I was on Discord on the screen. But <laughs> thank you for always Hi, subbing at the right time, apparently. Hey, um, I just wanted to ask if the pit lane entry and exit rules were the same as last year. So... Pit entry and pit exit. Uh, thanks for three. Effect, so you have to keep a tier uh, three for seven straight months inside the white line on entry and exit. Cool. Thanks. Appreciate you, bud. That brings up a good point. Uh, during qualifying, if you are coming out of the pits, you'll you have to let me know to that um, priority to the driver that is on a hot lap, and so you must yield. That capture card's coming race, too. 
If you are coming out of the pits, you are so I know to be looking for it in the mail. You are able to race the driver that is on your outside, but you cannot cross the pit uh, exit line. Come on up, Taylor. Okay. I mean, I'm, for the my, guys that have been here since birth, uh, the major changes for tonight is twenty minute quality versus thirty and forty minute pit window. Correct. There's also changes in our penalty enforcement and structure, so that's good to know post race and throughout the season. So I'm trying to get all these new guys, make sure be, they're um, will be upgraded or can't volumes be upgraded. are all lowered Sorry, in Discord. And if they are severe incidents, I do not want to have to like so we have gotten change people 30, down and like but next race week you will have a thirty second penalty added to your race that you will serve in the pits. Ooh, starting with a thirty second penalty, that would be brutal. Hi, Jeff. Um, there was talk about uh, not crowding the pit lane exit and ghosting through people, which is fine. Is there a, a time that we can leave our spot and start queuing up? Or, I mean, obviously, if you sit there forever, your tires are, tires are just get cold, but just didn't know if there was any specific rules on that. So you can line up. We do ask that you respect the line, uh, that you respect the queue. You do not uh, ghost through cars. However, if a car is exiting their pit box and they can't see the line behind them, they are going to slot in where they slot in. Hey, bud. Um, there is play? no time that stuff you done? can't line up. So if you want to line up Make 10 sure minutes you clean early, up the go ahead. Markers, too. Become ice bricks. If you want to wait until everybody's gone and then leave, you can do that as well. Um, Sounds good. Thanks. No problem. Servers are going back up. All right. I've got Darren up here first. How's it going, boys? Mr. Rubisha. Going well. Oh. Uh, the penalties, I, uh, any penalty points from last year, I come off at the end of the season with two points. Is that going to be any different with the new penalty model that we got happening now? Or are they still carrying over? So the penalty, it's an eight uh, race we, rolling. For we, I'm sorry, let me restart. So if you get a penalty, last and these penalties were extremely harsh. We have a race one that philosophy. doesn't go off and until so to make up for that. Race we are one doing of the a next one time, two point forgiveness. And so we still have the eight-week rolling total that will affect your license, which will can add to a qualifying and race ban. However, uh, we've done a one-time forgiveness at the start of the season, a two-point uh, penalty reduction. So, yeah. so if I had two points in my you have zero. Season, you have zero. Oh, it must be nice to start with zero. Does that come off of my my rating as far as where I stand in the series, or is, or is that part of the SRA? So I need to do this. I do in not know. Game chat, and it'll later. promote you, and okay. then I can use right on. Next to five. So From Cube. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Um. I register online, and the number is different than my car's number. And I try to change the number in game. And when I join a new server, it did not change that number for me. Would that matter? So the game will force a number on you. So it'll force a number in a car on you. Okay. Then. Okay, cool. Then yeah, he's just saying it's the wrong number. Me. So open an admin ticket so we can get your number corrected on either system so that way we can have it coincide. Yep, perfect. They won't Thanks. worry about tonight. It it won't. You'll still get your points and everything tracked. We'll just change it after the fact. Hey, Matt. Uh, I just want to make sure, are we still doing the... With the pit window being 40 minutes, how are we dealing with blue flags during the pit window? Um, to, to, so to, to, if the driver in... Um, I'm sorry. If the driver behind has not pit, they do not get the right away, and so it gets it's, it gets a little complicated. Uh, I'll just okay. No, that, that kind of makes sense. If you still have to pit, and the driver in front uh, of you has not pit four. or has already um, gone into the pits and filled their pit requirement, they do not have to yield to you. God, this has already been because 15 minutes, time, man. You can go I just into want the pits to race. I hate the drivers. Up them. And it's now your choice whether you want to stick behind them. Like half of these are. To guys that have been here if a driver has or hasn't pitted uh just look next to their name on the on the what is that the hud mfd yeah on the mfd and it should have a one next to it an orange one if i'm not mistaken yes if they have not pit yet if they have pit it'll be green oh i'm sorry jeff i clicked the wrong button uh request to speak again get out jeff there you go um what about the opposite of that where if i have already pitted and i am catching someone and they have not pitted Race them. You need to overtake them. I, mean, I don't know what you're not going to be. If they're if you're blue flagged, then they need yeah, to if, yield. Yeah. Right. I I don't think the game technically blue flagged, so that the answer to that is just race. Oh yeah, then just race. Yep. Okay. The school of thought on the new pit window is that you're going to be passing people in a unique way compared to last season. So 
the main blue flag rule is that if you are faster than somebody that is quote unquote um, in front of you on track, you have the obligation of passing them cleanly and then staying ahead of them. In a, uh, I think the one second gap is the uh, standard. So if you're being shown blue flags after you get past them and you're hindering them, the expectations that you uh, give back the position if the game is indicating so. Hey, Logan. Hi. Uh, I'm uh, new here, and my quick question is, um, do you guys allow people to join late in the season? At least later? We do. We don't. We stop uh, late season join, um, additions around week seven or week eight, just depending on the championship. We, won't wanna, we don't want to compromise the championship that late in the season. All right, that, that works. Thanks. Any other race-specific no. questions for tonight? I read a password. This is our. This is a long driver's briefing. They are typically not this long, but we understand first race of the season. There's going to be a lot of kinks we need to work out. A lot of new guys oh that will need just to. Just give me the we'll password. To, uh, I want to be Durbin. Give me the password. Answer. Go ahead, David. Hey, he's got to figure out how to turn his mic on. David. Good question. If you have issues joining the server, um, once I give out the password. Um, you can open an admin help ticket. We do have an admin that is uh, not racing tonight who's going to be helping out with the D5 server, and he, Al, also knows all the technical backend and is very good. Oh, Al is going to be quick to troubleshoot things. So admin help is how you need to um, ask for support. All right, David, I, I can't hear you. I'm going to kick you off the stage, see if you can join back up if you want to. Let's see. Just give me the password. Can you speak now? Nope. All right, ask your question in text chat. If it's like you're having technical difficulties. All right, so I think we are ready to get started. These servers are all up. Ah, come on. The password for tonight is sun, like the land of the rising sun. S U N is the server name, or is the server password. Okay, let's see what Doug says about the um. Hold on, they'll let the. For those of you unaware, we sometimes will skip time. forward through practice. Practice is only up, so you can join the server. We like to skip forward through practice, so that way we can get right into the business. You guys have had all week to practice. Perfect. Good luck, everyone. I will hang out in here. Please leave the driver's briefing once you've joined the server to let us know that you are in and good to go. Doug and I will stay in here for a little bit to make sure I, I am jumping down everything's to the going chat. as planned. And, yeah. Okay. Wait until the number of people joining stagnates. Got it. Alrighty, fellas. Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. I need to type this in slash admin okay, now on the server admin perfect We got 32, not bad. Pit stall four is gonna be nice because we're down at the end. I know last night wherever I, I don't remember what um, pit stall I had, but I was in the middle somewhere, and it kind of has like a weird like slope. 
and my pit stall was like here and it came down and, and it had like a little bounce and then I had to stop so when I I like the down and brake, it uh jerked yeah, my car around pretty cool I was following one around early yeah the gingerbreads are nice yeah oh, hey. this free practice only it was only like five minutes right yeah it's not very long okay because Doug, Doug was giving me the um, the stuff on how to like forward it to the next session. He was like, "Yeah, it's supposed to be like a ten minute practice, and you just forward it after a couple of minutes when they start joining." But since it's five minutes, I'm just gonna let everyone have the five minutes. Make sure. Yeah, we don't have much longer in it. No, it's a minute now. Over a minute. All right. Um. Let's see, uh, let's see, where are you at, GB? I want to make sure I got the right color tag. So, I'm number five. You're right above me. Um, I see it in now. the lineup, and yeah, you're you're silver. Silver goes out first, right? It's here. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so we have ten minutes, and everybody doing like the sixty forty split for the for the fuel. Yeah, is that the best? Yeah. I don't know if it's the best, but it's what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, like I'm I'm a second to a second and a half slower with that forty extra liters, and I feel like I can Weird, make right? it, I can make it up I'm trying, in yeah. the pit stop. Like eight seconds the extra pit stop, and I'm like a second slower on the. Race like a full race tank, so there's 30 yeah. laps. I should be able to make up at least eight seconds. I just hope I I don't crash out. <laughs> My goal for this one is just survive to the end of the race. Just finish. Yeah, okay. me too. I mean, you'll probably do pretty well just trying to do that, though. So. I mean, yesterday I <laughs> I spun like I I went to the grass and. The second lap or something like that. I managed to finish, but I had I like 20 that. seconds of damage. Yeah, that's rough. Yeah. Green light, green light. Go, go, go. Good luck, silver boys. Appreciate it. Making sure I got my list there. See what we can do here. Come on, guys. I don't want a four minute fucking outlap. I'll be right back. Here's where we're going to start grabbing a little bit of a gap. TC, ABS is all looking good. Some of those guys are down in 130R already. So here's where the gaps are going to start building. So Jiraki is already kind of spreading out a little bit there. Keep those brakes nice and warm here. Oh my, I 
hate this out loud. I know everybody in front of me has been going super slow. Yeah, I got three cars in front of me just sitting here weaving back and forth. I'm probably one of them. I just went through on 30R. I don't know how close you are to me. No, no, you're ahead of me. Okay, I'm on much further ahead then. Not bad. Two or three or four. Thanks, Shackleford. Fucking moron. I gotta mute that Discord chat in a minute. there. 
well here. How's it going? Password is uh Gotta get in. Moonstra's an idiot. Almost messed up my lap as they were weaving down the back straightaway into 130R. That's fine. Like they didn't let, they didn't, um, they didn't like break. They just let off the gas and started weaving as I'm closing in on them. I'll take it. I probably had another lap, but I didn't want to run another one. 2026, that's right about where my fastest is. 2027. Far enough from Ken Miller and uh, his teammate. I s started a last lap at 1026 minutes, but and I had it going good, but then I messed up, so I just pulled off. Damn. Ah. Uh, oh well. Ten, ten minutes is not a lot of time to qualify. Especially yeah. on a track that's a two-minute track. <laughs> I was able to get three laps in. Yeah, that's what I did. I think that's what I did, right? Eight minutes I on did. the first lap. Yeah, three, three, three flying laps. Yeah. If you're one of the first, like, five cars, you can really just push and get out, but it's hard to Dude, do Dude, and my second flying lap, if I'd have got sector one down on my third one, I would have been a 2016. Nice. All right. Ugh. Well, I'm going to get up and stretch for a minute, and uh, I'll be same, back. Same, same. <clears throat> yep, this is Beer Smoke P. Thanks, get Ghost. This old man ready to race. Uh, it's two tenths. I ran a 205, like 525 or something like that in the practice lobby, so 2057 is pretty good for me, especially when I had to avoid that. Um, What is he? Boonsters and a McLaren, yeah. I had to avoid him swerving on the back straightaway there for whatever reason. Like, you know that I've been behind you since the beginning, and you see that I'm getting closer. Like, just let off and stay over there all the way. There's plenty of a gap behind me because the guy behind me was not catching. So, ninth out of the um, the silver classes. That's not nine out of twenty-two. So, what? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So, theoretically, I start 24th. That's pretty brutal. But my, my goal is literally just those guys that are in front of me right now. And, I mean, if I would have had the two tenths, I would have gone two more positions. It's not a big deal. All right. I'm, I can't run an ad yet because it's been too close since I... Um, uh, ran one. But we're going to go to the uh, Be Right Back screen, and I'm going to get ready here. Yeah, I should be fine. I have better race pace than uh, a lot of the guys that have been here a while, and the new guys are probably going to be a little more cautious. I'm just hoping clean race. I don't want to cause any incidents because um, I'm down to four points on the penalty.
penalty list, and if I don't get involved in an accident, I can go down to one after this week, and then I'll be zero next week if I don't. So, we can lose all those penalty points pretty quick. But we're going to go to be right back, and uh, I'll see you guys at the end of practice. All right, and we're down to 13. Okay, we're not doing too bad. Jeff's, Jeff's time keeps him up there in the top 10. I feel like, oh, so Wally's at a 1 of 1. Where's Zooch? Zooch did not get a uh, good lap. Zooch had a 2 of 1 flat in the um, practice lobby. So that's good. A lot of these... Um, Carbon Strebs and Dockendorf haven't even done a lap. Um, Chris Lorenzo. Uh, so cars to watch out for: 151. Chris Lorenzo. He's um, baseline racing Romeo. He's teammates with uh, JB Ruzik, 804, and then Shepard 867 and me 717 make up the uh, whiskey team. So. Yeah, 804, 867, 717, and then 151. And that's the four baseline cars that are in this division. We did, it's funny, we did Whiskey, Tango, Foxtrot, Victor, Romeo. So we're, what the fuck, uh, virtual reality. There you go, there's somebody that's put in a, Ruzik just put in a nice time. Wally, 201 flat. I told him there was someone going to make a 201 flat. I knew someone would get it. Dropped one more position. That's fine. Is it, with three minutes, that's like two more laps that most of these guys can do. Uh, I think we'll be fine. Oh, did Zach? Is it Zach's guy in this? Yeah, I don't see Zach in here. Hmm. 16th, 17th, yeah, we're dropping now. All the faster guys are putting in their times. So there's Carball. Uh, Anastasi put in his lap. Okay, there's somewhere it says that there's a race chat that, um... There's a chat... Is there's a chant that it needed to be looked at, but I don't know which one it is, to be honest. Okay, well, let me just leave it. Eighteenth, okay. Slowly getting split off. So me and Lorenzo are close. 
Uh, Shepard's dropped a little bit. Ruzik's down into the 217s. Very nice. Is he still on track? He's still on track. His This lap's dirty, so he gets one more. Uh, Chris is down here in the bottom coming out of Spoon, so he'll get another lap. He's got 448 next to him, so he's got Sodra. Sodre. If I could roll my R's, I'd probably be a bit better. 350, I don't know who that is either. That's a new number. 350 is Drebs or Drebus. 271 is Carball. 974 is Smith. Okay, so Smith's up here. 969 is one that I don't know either. Who's 969? Um, oh, Dockendorf. So he's going to get a lap, but let's see if it drops to 20th here. Nope, Dockendorf did not drop us. But, uh, he's he's close though. Gitesh is also slower than us. Crazy. Gitesh was silver. Uh, somebody just knocked me though. So we're twentieth. One eighty six. My oh is Male Maya. He's the one that mocked, knocked me because he was below me a minute ago. All right, last 30 seconds. So, Ghost, the big thing I did for uh, qualifying is my uh, wing is at 12. And then I'm bumping it up to 14 for the uh, race because I noticed that I was really loose going into turn one on the higher fuel load. Like, the back end was wanting to slide. So, I just cranked the wing up. And it's crazy because even, even though I have more fuel and more downforce with the wing, I was still running um, fairly good times. So. Not too bad. Oh, he got another lap in, 628. Anastasi. Let's see what we got here. 510. Well, he did not improve. 350. Don't see any. Uh, Drebs is right there. Ruzik does not. 760 goes P3. I got into the 201s. <clears throat> yeah, I saw that. I was watching the leaderboard. You did pretty well there. Yeah. I'm 20th. That's not bad. I was expecting a lot further down. Mid pack, though. Ugh. I hate these mid pack starts. Seven seventy eight nine sixty nine. What's he doing? How's he still on the line? Oh, never mind. He's not. Six two eight's the last one. Kind of hope he dirties it through two four uh, one thirty R so we can get going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just ready to go. I know, right? Make sure you turn that down, Tobias. Thank you. He's sitting 17. So let's see if he moves up a little bit. So we're starting 5th, 13th, 14th, and 20th. Aw, uh, oh, man. <laughs> what happened? Did he bunch, bump you? Oh, he bumped you. Yeah. Yeah. Anastasi. Oh, yeah. went all the way, all the way up to 4th. From 14th. Yeah, they were doing really good in the practice server earlier. All right, so set up. Load um, 60. All right, let's see how this lap one goes. Thanks, Ghost. I appreciate it. Normally, I would leave my mic open, but you guys are all going to be in front of me, so I don't think me relaying any uh, accidents this early is going to help. <laughs> I 
squares. Um, Noah. Noah starts a couple positions in front of me. Yeah, he's starting right behind Loren Lorenzo. I'd watch the the guy behind you, uh, Chris, the the 508 car. He definitely tried to uh, make it three or four wide into turn one last night. Instead of one, and and Davis. Yeah, Noah Davis, 508. Yeah. yeah, he tried to come on the inside of me. We had a little chat. Yeah, I think he understands. Yeah, I mean, they, they, you guys were already trying to fan out three one. He was trying to make it three or four wide there, and yeah. didn't really have the room. So hopefully, he's a little bit more so patient. I basically liters. gave him the curb, and he took it. Is what happened. Sixty liters to start and forty liters to pit. That should be good, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sixty forty. Okay. Yep. I thought your livery was baseline green and white. Yeah, yeah. My my livery is green and white. I've got a lot of black though. Goes. Uh, make sure to turn your tires off if you're not repairing those. Um, I'll send you the exact uh, livery because we have th we have th three designs, I think. I think we're only using two. We're using like the mostly black okay. with a little bit of white and green, and then I have a lot of white across the hood. Yep. Good luck to everybody. Going single file. Hopefully we uh do well. Good luck to you, Ren. Hate that you're not in uh, the grease with us, but have any of you seen Sam? Uh... He was he was around earlier. Is he not in the lobby? Uh, that's not the video. Can't check. Okay. But he's in the race at least. Okay. He might just be chilling by himself. He was streaming. Ah, uh, that could be it. He's just chilling with chat. I like this uh, comic racing car next to me. Matassi, that guy was the one earlier. He had, um, I guess, whatever issues he was having with the server was just that other server. It's nice, yeah. I mean, every every well, I would say I, I would say every livery, but not every livery that I've seen has been really good but most of the ones you can tell people took and put some time into are pretty good i don't think the um the christmas poop one is very good i i, I thought i saw that one i was like man i mean it's holiday themed but i don't know about that we're, we're kind of running some holiday colors with the, with the uh green but uh, we decided not to really do the Christmas or any of the holiday theme. But we have the, uh, the leukemia ribbon on our car. So, it's a, it's a better cause, I think, to run than holiday theme. Since one of our drivers is going through some of that stuff with one of his kids. And according to Tyler, who during the um, broadcast when he was doing our stuff said that he was a, uh, he's a leukemia survivor from his childhood as well. So glad, glad to put something else that, you know, a lot of people can relate to. And I think, uh, don't matter where I go, I think from now on I'm going to run a orange leukemia badge on my car somewhere. I think it's a, a good thing to run. I'm not gonna do like last night and really get like grinding up the speed because you don't really need to go that fast. It's right when you get around 130R, it slows you down.
Everyone always gasses it up way too hard and then has to slow down. Yep. It's, all I can do is try to focus, watch the cars on both sides. Tires are still not quite up to the where I want them. So we'll just kind of have to pace that. I'm going to get back to the back end of our little uh, part of the grid here. Figure out which lane's gonna be going. Car on the left. Clear on the left. Car on the right. Clear on the right. We have some light damage on the rear of the car. Just keep it, 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 keep it. He's on, he's on, he's on. Car on the left. Clear on the left. I could tell there was a wreck coming up in front of me too. The way the guys were all kind of like acting weird. Hey, Blasian, how's it going, bud? Slow car ahead. Another car off. So we started what twentieth ghost. Let's see where we end up after the um, little incident there. As the track cycles us through. Nineteenth. Okay, I'll take it. seconds of damage. Fuck me, man. So that means my pit stop's gonna be 26 seconds now. It's almost... Well, if I didn't have to... I mean, I guess if I was just taking fuel, I'd be able to pit and take the damage. We'll fill out the damage. We'll see if 15 seconds is really hurting us. I feel like it's probably gonna hurt us in the straightaway, if anything. No, you don't think so? Last night I had three seconds or five seconds of damage, and it was destroyed on my my car. But it was also front um, front splitter damage. Lexus is off. Yeah. Like I said, I'll see what I'm doing lap wise. If I'm doing fours and fives, it might be worth me pitting because the whole point is. Um, no, no, I'm not pitting like uh, now. I'll stay out for um, until the pit window opens. I'm just talking about like just repairing it when I come to the pit stop. Davis is in front of us. I don't know what happened to my teammates. One of them's in front of me. I can see the green car like three spaces ahead there. This is in front of Davis. That's Lorenzo. Okay. So I don't know what happened. I'm assuming Ruzik's still pretty far up there. And then hopefully uh, Shepard's up there too. We got two lamps to see if we want to pit too. It's 
These guys are playing with that curb on the uh, exit of the Casio Triangle. It's catching them out. These guys are all getting stacked up in front of us. And Aston Martin's really flirting with disaster there, man. The silver one, not the white one. White guy, the, the white one's being patient there. He's gonna have the speed on me. Yeah, that silver ass is still on the um, curb through the exit of the Casio. I feel like if I didn't have the damage, I could easily get by this guy. These Assassin guys are really mounting these curbs looks really unsettling another car off another Aston Martin or a Mercedes McLaren that's Davis too like I like the curbs in the uh, Audi but uh, I feel like these guys are taking a little too much I think next time by, I might pit and get rid of this uh, damage because look, there's a big open space on the track. Like everyone's still pretty tightly grouped, so I might be able to run some clean laps by myself. Like Drock is uh, catching me Ooh. in that BMW. More cars off.
goes that Silver Aston again. That dude just loves the curbs, but it, they don't love him. And the other guy can't s make a pass because he's unsure if that guy's going to wreck when he gets close to him. Turn our right blinker on to let them know that we're gonna pit here. doing. Hopefully I don't get a penalty for that. Did it turn my... Oh, it did turn my pit limiter off. Come on. I'm gonna get a fucking speeding penalty because the pit limiter is set to the same button as the... F no fucking way that that's... Yeah, the, the right arrow key is set to the pit limiter even though I have it on my steering. I gotta make sure that that shit's turned off, because that's gonna piss me off if I get a drive through for it. A stop and go 30. Oh, one race out. No fucking way. Thanks, Logitech. Because I know that's what it is. Logitech likes to fucking reset my uh, settings. I still have time. Oh, to make up spots? But I mean... I've already had to pit for... Yeah. But now I'm not going to be out in the open air, though. Because of this... It seems like that's my my curse at the start of a season. I, I th almost every race season I've ever done, the first race of the season I do something and fuck it up. Season three was about the only one on ACC that I haven't. I started thirteenth or so and got to fourth. Last season I got involved in a wreck. This season I got this stupid shit. That's frustrating. At least I don't have to worry about it. I guess I didn't have to turn it off, but it was a good way to make sure I was in my box. Yeah, I'm gonna go lap down. But, I mean, I'm going to lap down, but they still have to pit, so depending on how far back I am into this, well, uh, it might be fine. Come on, let's go. I'm gonna be right here in the, like, top five or six here.
I mean, you gotta give me room on the inside, dude. Just because you're on the flying lap, I still get room on the exit. I got my lap down, and I'm coming out of the pits, but... Mine to be a prick. Oh, where did that red car come from? What the fuck? It's new guys in the league, Ghost. That's another reason why starting in the mid-pack on the first uh, race is a... crazy. I kind of wish my time was a little bit lower and I would have been in D5. At least I would have been along the faster guys. Not stuck in the middle not knowing exactly where my pace is. Carbog I know is faster than me. Problem is giving up my uh Yeah. Giving up time to each car in this line when they get to me means I'm not actually gaining the time that I need to be gaining. That's why I was hoping to pit and get out over there in that circle of clean air. Cause now like I'm gonna give this guy half a second to get for him to get by. And that's gonna allow the next car to get in a second of me. Come on! Oh, you're in a Porsche. You don't have any speed. Forgot. I think it's a POS in the straight line. Alright, these guys are two seconds behind me. Let's keep that. For the 40 minutes, let's just keep the car on the track.
Ruzik's leading currently. Nice. I see 151's going through the S's. I don't see 867. And none of these guys have pit yet, so... If I can stay right in between these two cars that I'm at, they'll have to pit and I'll be back in front of a lot of them. That was a pretty crappy lap, but we're back in the low fours again, so we're right above where we started in fuel, so the times will start dropping. Yep. Now we didn't get to run the plan we wanted, but now the times are dropping, so let's see what we can make up at the end here. Shackleford's only six seconds ahead of us. We know we're better than him because he started behind us. And both seasons he's been in the same division as me. We've been better than him. I just need as many points as I can get for the team championship. Now I'm letting our team down because of my fuck up.
I'm breaking a little early into Dinger 1. Front tire pressures are a, my tire pressures are all a little high. Um, there's a position. This guy's not getting away. Like, keeping it around two seconds. Thirty-two. I got another one. Sweet. I got two that lap. Pit window 15 minutes more will be coming in. And this guy's making up a lot of time all of a sudden. Yellow flag is at all. Key test, car 32. Send a pit. So we're just under our starting fuel now. We were running two or three sevens. So here's where the low two or three is will start racking in in the next two or three laps. Look at that, Soldier is 8th, and that's where we were racing, that's the guy we were racing before the pits too, Drebs and Soldier is 7 and 8. But, maybe guys that were in front of them are also, um, have also pitted. Thanks, Valkyrie. The good thing is, we these we know that those guys we were kind of um, faster than them when we were chasing. So 
We should be good there. Hey, Valk. So I don't expect either one of those guys to uh, close the gap on me. Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, we're 32nd, no, 37 that started. I uh, took some damage early. Uh, pit to fix it. Uh, tried to turn off my blinker and turn off my pit uh, limiter and sped through the pit, so I had to go back through with a penalty. So we're just playing damage control the rest of the race. Hopefully we finish. I'm hoping for like 25th. Um, realistically. If we can finish inside the top 20 after everyone makes their pit stops, that'd be great. Yeah, it was me trying to be nice and putting my blinker on so people knew that I was pitting and then didn't realize it was bound to two different things. So, after the race, I gotta make sure that that gets unbound. Because that's annoying. There's some lag right there. Alright, this guy's starting to close. So, I need to focus and keep him back there. Uh, JB's still winning and leading, so that's good. That guy's on the curbs again back there. Holy shit. He's all over the place. Boonster's pitting, so there's another spot. Oh, Boonster's in front of us. Damn. There to stay on the track. I don't know why people always think that when you go wide through the hairpin that you're giving them the space on the inside. You're like four core lengths back, and that's how you make the corner fast. What the fuck are you doing? You're not getting by like that, dude. And you wreck me, I'm gonna send you a fucking steward's shed. Like, I don't have to give you the spot until the end of turn one. I have a lap, and I'm gonna take every bit of it now. I can mop it. Good, now I got another lap. Check ass. Going to rush in there.
Yep, so I'm gonna hit me. Fucking ass wipe. Hold him up, Kitesh. I don't like you much either, but... Someone needs to learn some fucking racing etiquette. Holy shit, man. Music pit, so he's not leading anymore. I think as bad as Gitesh is doing, he's never driven the Ferrari, but he was in this shit last season. That guy went to pit. I think we'll just leave my drink right there. Actually, I don't trust it. Tobias, you need to go to bed in your room. Holmes hasn't pit, so we're in front of Holmes. I got about four laps to pit.
Smith with a th stop and go 30. It's fourth, so technically third, back there 20 seconds away. Good, for, good racing for him. It's kind of the ass, and it's all over now. Have damage or something? Ah, uh, 30 seconds. Of... No, I don't have damage. It's probably want me to change change tires. One second. seconds of damage I can tell because I'm not going like I don't feel like I'm going that fast it's probably all those times that the uh, Aston ran into me come on Gitesh Yeah, we're catching all the guys that are on our lap now. Looks like a lot of people have pit in front of us. So Carbog and Walid are gonna race it out for first. This five second gap. Eh. Well, he's probably gonna get second, looks like. Uh... Holmes is staying out again? Does he realize that he's got a pit, right?
wish I had the speed to actually get around him there. Holmes is asking for it. Yeah. Car on the right. Okay, you're on the right. Thank God. I honestly think that Holmes doesn't realize that he still got a pit. I bet you he pit early for damage and thought he was in the um, boundary. He'll make it, it looks like. Yeah, we're not catching Boonstra. I might catch Donahue, though. Carbox still 10 seconds off, so we're still gapping him. Goal now is just to finish on the lead lap. He's got to gain a second a lap on me. Holmes didn't pit. Look at that. That's a position. Moron, man. How do you not notice that little yellow dot over there? Unless you're one of those sweaty tryhards that thinks turning off your HUD is cool. Like, that shit over there is important. Yeah, it's in the way, but... I'd rather have it. This guy's damaged or something. I'm catching him quick. So we'll be 29th after um, Holmes gets his DQ, it looks like. Keep cutting that one really close. I need to break a little bit earlier. Robichon, Miller, fuck, man, those are the guys I should be running in front of. Yep. Well, this will be our drop race this season. Yeah, I need to get further to the left going into that entry. Basically, I need, I, I'm not lining myself out of 130R well enough. Yeah, 
we're just not running good times with all that damage. Tires are warm. Bonishu and Robichon can still get together and cause a massive pileup. That's promising. Rizix looks like he's in the top five. Yeah, I have worn up the tires quite a bit. I can definitely notice that the straightaway, the straight line speed's not there. I'm gonna assume it's rear damage. See if I can break the toe. Kitesh just lost it back there. Five seconds, the leader's back there behind. Now I'm gonna hound him. I don't know what the fuck they've got on the TV, but it's loud. Alright, two more laps. Oh, Carball wrecked. Now it's Walid's winning with. Oh man, Ruzik's fourth. Let's go, Ruzik. Five seconds off the lead, too. Somebody else just quit. Not the uh, server line. We're down to 34 drivers. Holmes and Robichon can tangle up a little bit. Maybe I can catch them. Leader will get the final lap. So I'll have two more when I cross the line, because the leader will have a, a lap to go. I swear Zach was D4. Was I mistaken? I don't know what the hell that is back there. It's very annoying. Yeah.
Okay, Robichaud had a bad lap. And catch Robichaud. I got two laps to do it. As soon as we're done with the race, I'm gonna have to jump over to Race Chat 2 quickly and uh, get the race review started. And uh, then I'll, once I get over there and get the race stream up, I'll uh, close off stream. I don't know if anybody's streaming, but I'm not going to uh, braid out tonight. I'm kind of tired. I want to get over there and get a couple of uh, things reviewed real quick and hopefully not be on too long. I'm going to try to find me a secondary uh, race director. So that way somebody else can take over on certain nights. You're off to practice, Gus. Oh, good luck. Hopefully you uh, learned some from my mistakes tonight. Holmes is off. Doesn't really matter because I get this position anyways. It's the one in front of me that I wanted. I wanted that McLaren of Robichaud. Yep. Car control went back from 78, we're up to 84, so we're doing well in the car control. Our consistency is up a little bit too. Robichaud is going to get away from me. Ken Miller dropped another position. Yeah, he's not going to be competitive this season, so at least I won't have to worry about him. As long as I don't have any more accidents, I put myself in bad spots. Let's go, there's another one. Ken Miller, let's go. Fuck that guy. Pass as fast as me. Never catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Yeah. Make it up to 28th. Twenty seven? No, oh, no, people are leaving. I was like, let's go. 28th, though. Right, yeah, because Holmes get a. Holmes actually drops only like. Um, a little bit. He won't drop too much. Um, we'll take it. It's it's something. I'm not happy. How'd you boys do? Twenty eighth. Man. Yeah, I got uh, ran into at the beginning. Bye, ghost. Um, and took some damage, and then uh, I pit early to try to get rid of the damage, and 
Uh, I hit the right arrow key, which I thought was turning off my blinker, and it turned off my uh, pit limiter, and I sped through the pits. Ooh. That's... Yeah. Well, I, yep. I'll probably get a penalty on that, because Ken Miller kept brake checking my ass the whole way. Oh, I fucking hate and that. And then, finally, like on the hairpin, he just brake checked me so hard I couldn't stop, so I booted him. I didn't mean to, but I ran into him, and I was going to slow down, let him by, and I was like, screw it, I'm gone. Yep. So, whatever. It uh, is what it is. For sure. I'm going to head up to uh, Race Chat 1 and uh, get the uh, yeah. lobby up. That's where I'm heading to. Okay. Um, share screen. AC2. All right. Stream. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed your night. Uh, I did not enjoy it as much as I would have liked. It's fine. Uh, tomorrow we're off. We're going to be on the SRA broadcast, Broadcasting Division 3. Thursday we're going to be off, and then we'll do some streams over the weekend. Mm -hmm. But uh, catch you all later, and have a good night. Anybody know why I have a...